I am on a mission to become the smartest human being on the planet. But that's going to be hard because that requires putting in time and effort into learning, which I don't really have. So instead I'm just gonna make a machine that forces me to learn at an accelerated rate, just by shocking me for every incorrect answer I give it. And of course this machine is going to be powered by one of those AIs that everybody is going nuts about. Not ChatGPT, of course, because their API is behind a paywall. Instead, it's going to be powered by Gemini, the Google version of ChatGPT. So this is a little diagram I made that shows what I want to make. I'm going to be tied down to a chair. I'm going to be connected to a torture device that will receive commands from a laptop. If the laptop says I answered a question incorrectly, I'm going to be shocked. If I answered a question correctly, nothing will happen to me. Simple as. So I started by making the torture machine. It's just a CCFL inverter I ordered from AliExpress and a voltage multiplier in a 3D printed shell. And to those wondering why I wouldn't use just a regular taser, the answer is that regular tasers can make someone lose consciousness and might lead to death in some cases. And that is something I do not want because it's hard to answer questions and learn if you are unconscious or dead. And next it was time to connect the machine to an AI. Yes! Correct. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Does the force of gravity depend on the mass of both objects involved? Nah, that sounds stupid. And now it was time to assemble the whole thing. So, I think we found the problem. Yeah. This wasn't testing and we forgot to... No. About <laughs> your mom. <laughs> There's sometimes these moments in life where you think it's gonna be a fun idea. But then, as time goes on, you realize you should have done anything but that. But you invested so much time and most importantly money into this thing that you realize that you can you can no longer back up, you know. Okay. My computer is gonna die. Get a better computer. Are you ready? Yeah, fuck it. No? Is the speed of light affected by the medium through which it travels? No! 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 Ah! Ah! And finally, it was time to get tied up. What's up guys? So basically, I'm tied up to this torture device, where I'm gonna be experiencing electric torture if I answer the question incorrectly. 
I think this is gonna be pretty cool. And swag. And Sigma. And thus begun the first ever, to my knowledge, accelerated learning protocol via electroshock. Does the gravitational force between two objects with mass depend on the density of the objects? Uh, no, no. Ah! Don't fuck. Fuck. Hmm. That did not... no, I understand warping. Is the acceleration due to gravity on the moon the same as on Earth? No. Correct. Is the speed of light constant in all reference frames? No. Ah! Dumb fuck. Fucking hell. Do all objects move at a constant velocity unless acted on by an outside force? Can you manipulate the pressure of a gas sample without changing its volume? Yes. Yes. Correct. Is potential energy a force field? No. Ah! Dumb fuck. Does the force of gravity depend on the mass of the objects involved? Yes. Yes. Correct. Does Newton's first law of motion predict that an object in motion will always continue moving until it encounters a force? Yes. Correct. Is the force of gravity directly proportional to the mass of the objects involved? Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Dumb fuck. Can an object be accelerated without a force acting on it? No. Correct. Is the speed of light affected by the medium through which it travels? Yes. Correct. Does the speed of light in a vacuum change depending on the observer's frame of reference? No. 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 Correct. This experiment has been a massive success because the added punishment of pain did encourage me to think harder and learn from my mistakes. I believe that schools, universities and kindergartens should use this apparatus to increase the effectiveness of their students. And thank you for watching the video.